Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash ITVersity and in this video I will be showing how to set up prerequisites um, using the parallel SSH and uh, uh, one difference is uh, so far predominantly I am using my Windows laptop to demonstrate uh, Hadoop administration especially HDP on both AWS as well as VM uh, sorry AWS as well as VMs uh, but uh, uh, from now onwards, I might take, uh, um, go back and forth between my Windows laptop and my Mac. Um, um, but um, the infrastructure will be same. And so I have four VMs, in, exactly same as the um, VMs in the Windows. Only difference is uh, my IP addresses are a little bit different. Other than that, everything else is same. Now coming back to the uh, topic which I am talking about, it is about setting up prerequisites using uh, parallel SSH and uh, first let us review the prerequisites. So I have my prerequisites under my Google Drive, uh, Personal, Hadoop, Training and uh, InfoLob, Week 1, Setup Cluster. Okay, so this have the um, uh, all the scripts that are required. Okay, so in this, um, uh, if you see, there are three important scripts which you need to keep in mind. The first one is prepare node dot sh. Is it? I think it is no to back file. That's fine. So I will so this is the main script and uh, you can open this script and uh, review what all changes will be making using VA editor. So here we are setting you mask to 022 so that all the files will be created using 755 permissions um, uh, or 6, 644 permissions um, uh, if it is files and uh, 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 for, for uh, root or easy to use or depending upon where we want to take care of this and then we are disabling SC Linux we are uh, uh, enabling NTPD and starting NTPD, we are disabling IP tables, we are disabling a swappiness, uh, virtual memory swappiness and also we, we are increasing the uh, number of files and uh, number of processes for uh, users that will be created as part of setting up our uh, Hadoop cluster using uh, HDP, Hortonworks uh, data platform. That being said, let us see how this can be executed in parallel. To execute in parallel, you need to have parallel SSH. So as I am doing uh, on my VMs, I want to set up parallel SSH on my Mac uh, terminal or uh, Windows SIGWIN. So you have to download using uh, uh, git clone um, that I have uh, uh, already presented in another video um, before this in the playlist. And once you download parallel SSH using uh, git, uh, git clone, um, on your Windows or uh, uh, Mac terminal. Uh, so Git might not be available directly. Uh, so you might have to use Mac ports if it is Mac. If it is Sigwin, you have to use uh, uh, Sigwin package, uh, uh, Git Sigwin package. Uh, and then you have to clone the parallel SSH on your PC. That being said, once you download the parallel SSH, uh, you will see a directory like this. And uh, it will have uh, uh, commands like PSSH and PSCP which you can use but if you run PSSH directly it might not run uh, you have to set the environment variable and the way you can set up the environment variable uh, for if you want to just run in this session is just do export path equal to dollar path colon uh, this one is slash uh, my home directory slash Google Drive slash um, personal uh, Hadoop training infolob 
week one setup cluster and parallel SSH and then I have to give the bin wherever the comments are you have to give till that point uh, to the path okay now as it is exported we can see that uh, command is running uh, without any issues okay you can also add this to uh, to your profile so that whenever you log in uh, you have that accessible and I am not showing that in uh, here but uh, if, if not only parallel SSH any software if you want to persist uh, for your environment you have to add it to your profile uh, or .bash rc file or .profile file whatever it, it makes sense. So that being said, so that being said, let us review the other two scripts which are important for this. And the second one is cluster force. So in this case, I am actually copying like this, and here I have to have all my IP addresses which are uh, of my VM or aliases of them. And these are the DSS and I have the right file. So when we run a PSH or PSCP script passing this as parameter, uh, that command or script will be executed on all these four hosts. And then one final script which you need to look at is this setup vm underscore centros.sh. <laughs> and in this case, uh, I am connecting to root. So you have to use PS. First time uh, I am running PSCP command to copy this prepared node.sh file to all the nodes. Then I am running PSSH to execute it. So for PSCP, this minus v and minus l is just syntax. You have to use them. I am not 100% sure the purpose of these two. And this is the username which you are trying to connect. If you are trying to connect some other user, uh, you have to change this minus h, uh, and then you have to pass the horse either comma separated or in uh, host file and minus x uh, and then uh, minus x is to execute and then uh, this one is primarily to not to prompt you when you try to connect to the host for the first time if you don't have this and uh, accidentally if you are connecting to a host for the first time using PSCP then uh, the intended task might not be performed on that host because it will prompt and uh, you might end up in consistent state. So whenever you are running these parallel SCP SSH commands, it's always safe to use this parameter. And then uh, I am copying, uh, I am giving the path. The path is prepared not .sh, uh, which is here. You can give absolute path or relative path. In this case, I have given uh, uh, relative path and uh, then you, this is the target uh, location where the file will be copied on all the nodes and then uh, uh, this is the script uh, which will be uh, this will be the file on the target uh, vm or host and uh, then the pssh script almost looks same uh, except here uh, this one because we have sudo commands in them unless you have minus t minus t or minus tt uh, you might run into some issues because of that and here uh, we are executing this script using PSSH, a uh, series of commands using the PSSH. The first one is to uh, add the execute permissions on this prepare node.sh file on, on all the nodes and then uh, execute that prepare node.sh and redirect the output to the log file. And once it is done, you just have to reboot. Okay. Now uh, that's it. Uh, now if we run uh, this uh, script um, on uh, on your Mac or on your uh, uh, sorry on your Mac terminal or, or on your Windows Sigwin terminal, um, then as reactions will be taken on all the nodes in parallel. So for this to execute this script, it has to have execute permission which it does not have so you have to do chmod plus x setup vm centros.sh now execute permissions are given and now you can execute it 
like this. So it is successful. The copying is done, and uh, uh, the executions are also done. It says success. And uh, actually, if you go to your VM console, all the VMs will be restarting because uh, in the end of this uh, uh, setup VM centos.sh, we are actually rebooting the servers because we are disabling SC Linux, so we have to reboot them. That being said, they are almost coming up. It will just take a moment. And then we need to validate whenever we execute anything on at least a few of the nodes to make sure that it is working as expected. So it is up. So let us connect to HTTP server. And uh, one thing you can validate is whether the Linux is disabled or not. It is disabled. And uh, also, you can touch a script a file to validate whether it is created using 755 or not. So, in this case, some, uh, so our U mask is 022. So, if you change it to, uh, uh, yeah, so whenever you try to create files when your U mask is 022, it will create with these permissions. The owner will have read, right? Uh, group will have read and others will have read permission. So we are good to go. We have got all the uh, wizard prerequisites uh, successfully on, on all the nodes. You can also review this log file which is generated. And you can see that SLNX is disabled, IP tables is already off, swappiness is disabled, and uh, So everything looks good. Same thing you can validate on all the other nodes too. Okay, that being said, uh, that's it. Um, a parallel SSH is a very powerful tool. Uh, you can even uh, submit job in hundreds of nodes at the same time, or submit a script on 100 nodes of, uh, at the same time, and you can get the things done in parallel. I hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel. If you have not subscribed yet on to my channel, please do so. Uh, if you like the video please like it if you uh, provide me feedback or if you have any questions feel free to post a comment on my videos thank you bye